know it, but a year from now our family will be torn apart, and I will move far away and won't see or talk to him for five years. And as we now this is the caption on that video. Please pause to read and then come back. Yes, the most likely time that a uterus will rupture is in labor or and especially when pushing. But there are patients who have uterine rupture earlier on in pregnancy in the late sec second trimester or early third or even before then without even going into labor. Now, the first thing to know is that a uterine rupture is a complete disruption of all the layers of the uterine wall. That would include the endometrium, the entirety of the muscle, and the serosa, which is the overlying layer of the uterus. There's going to be typically something coming out of that rupture, like the amniotic sac, amniotic fluid, or even fetal parts, placenta. Some of the signs of a uterine rupture during the course of labor or during pushing is fetal heart rate tracing abnormalities, a sudden onset of abdominal pain, which can still be felt even with an epidural. Uh, the fetal head, which is down in the pelvis, can lose station and go back up into the uterus. Vaginal bleeding. There may, may be a change in the contraction pattern or blood may show up in the urine. And one of the things that I've seen is that during the course of labor or pushing, the patient starts to throw up and have severe nausea and vomiting. And that's because when the contents of the uterus start to get into the abdomen, that irritates the peritoneum and makes them throw up. Now, all of these things can happen to someone who's not even laboring or pushing, but they can be missed because the patient's not really expecting it. Now, patients who have uterine rupture before the onset of labor, describe what she's describing. A, a onset of pain that's not like excruciating, but it's there and it doesn't go away. And that's a sign of the layers of the uterine wall slowly starting to uh, open. Then she started throwing up because she started to bleed internally and the content and the contents of the uterus were going, like the amniotic fluid were also going into her abdomen causing irritation of the peritoneum. And a lot of patients will describe burning along that scar that doesn't go away or they actually feel the tearing. So if you ex experience any of these things and you're not in labor and you've had previous uterine surgery or previous cesarean section, you need to go be evaluated. Do you have any questions about uterine rupture? Put them in the comments.